creating a grounded point. We can put a grounded point on our model. The first is, what is a grounded point? Well, it's a work point, but the point does not move. Even if the geometry moves, the work point stays put. So, we're going to go up into our work features, hit the down arrow, and we're going to go to grounded point. It's got a little push pin on it to show that it doesn't move. And it's a select a vertex or a work, work point. I'm going to pick this little vertex right there. And it builds a triad. And we can actually refine its position by moving it left, right on the X, Y, you know, or on the Z. Um, so we can refine that position if need be. And then we're going to say OK. And we're going to create that little uh, work point right there. Now, that's a grounded work point. So I'm going to pick on this particular face. And I'm going to say Edit Extrude. And in, in this case, I'm going to change this. And I'm going to say it's 0.5. I'm going to hit Enter. And notice how I change that. My work point still sits here. So it's, uh, it's anchored down or pinned down to this location, even though the model may update or move. And I'm going to undo that. And also, I want one other thing I want to show you. If I were to uh, see, I have this work axis here. If I want to figure out how that thing was made, I pick on there, right click, and I'll say Show Inputs. And it shows me what was selected to create that particular input. In this case, I see it was intersection of two planes created that work axis.